Hey guys, I'm Chris Rubens and I'm here with Stan Ray, Mike Douglas, Alexi Godboot, and Leah Evans. Today we're gonna run through an avalanche scenario and see what we can learn. In previous how-to videos, we went over the beacon probe shovel, how to use them. We did a very basic avalanche scenario. Uh, this one is gonna be more about a real, real life and a bit more complicated of a scenario. So we got multiple burials. Uh, they're gonna be buried deep. We got a dummy down there and it's really to go through what it might be like in real life. This video doesn't replace taking an avalanche course. Make sure you get out in the field and take a hands-on course with an avalanche professional. What we want to show you here is how we train. The Solomon team trains to keep our skills sharp. We work through these kinds of scenarios all the time, always looking for ways that we can improve. So today I'll be helping set up this scenario and when I'm setting up scenarios, I like to make them as real life as possible. But before that, kind of the most important part of this is finding the spot to do it. So obviously you don't want to do it in avalanche terrain. You want to be part of the problem that you're practicing for. So what we have here, we found this nice little clearing in the trees. The trees make a very definite kind of line of where the avalanche might have gone. Now, when we're burying items or, or whatever, uh, what I like to do is put a beacon, make sure that it's on. We don't want to lose the beacon, obviously. Uh, but I'll put it in a backpack and, and bury that. That way when you're probing, uh, you're gonna hit something and be able to dig something up. The other thing I've got is a cheap pair of overalls. And so I'll fill that with snow and that becomes like a really lifelike dummy. So this way, they're really gonna have to move a lot of snow to get this guy out of here. And they're gonna have to have their shovel technique on point. So really, really good learning here. So today we have three, we got a pole attached to a bag we're gonna have a bag that's buried and then we have a really lifelike dummy that's buried really deep and that will be the one that uh, takes a lot of time for these guys to get out let's see how they do okay so we got a good scenario here guys you guys were out skiing you had three other friends and the slope goes down here and we just saw the avalanche last seen spot was just over that bump there and we got three missing okay. go um, I'm gonna designate. I'm gonna be the leader for this scenario. Yeah. Uh, is sense. there any other safety things we need to worry about before entering? Nope. You are okay. safe. Awesome. No um, I would like to everybody to put your beacons on search. Right. My beacons on search. Okay. I'm gonna My check you before. Search. Okay. Uh, and you two are gonna go down. You can find the first signal. Okay. Wait. Well, there's someone on right now. It's me. It's me. I'm in search now. Okay, Michaelis, you're gonna stay with me. Okay. So you guys go, you two can Kay. go down. Stan, I got a meter at 78 meter, or I've got a signal at 78 meter. Let's go. I'm gonna check you out. Seven point three. Okay, and I'll check Mike, you. You Double are check. you are gonna call. Okay. So you can um, I'd like you to call 911 and they're gonna dispatch. So okay. Can rescue. On it. On it. Okay. <clears throat> 16, 11, 7. Four. I have 4.7. Got a pull here. I'm gonna pull on this. Nothing attached to it. I'm at two meters. We think three victims in an avalanche. It looks like a pretty big one and uh, looks like we have burials. You wanna start searching for this one? Start searching for the other one. I've got this one. Okay. <laughs> well, can I mark this one? Yeah. You got 18 meters for the other one. Okay. 11 meters. Uh, we're about two minutes, and Mike Douglas made the rescue call. So we're off to a really good start here. Point five. Point eight right here. Trump probe right here. Just put the center of my probe up. Need a shovel here. Coming down. I'm gonna take my shovel out. Oh, 
was your low point? Point three. Point three? I got it! Got From it. strike! Shovel, shovel, shovel! Coming in with shovel. I'll get mine out, you start shoving right here. Okay, we got it! Got him! All right, three minutes. First one is out. Yeah. I'll get a shovel up next. Yeah. Here you go. I got a shovel. Okay. How many people did you have up there? One. One? That's the ground. My transceiver said there were only two people buried. There's two or three? Two. I think I have a probe strike, but I'm not sure. Can you double check for me? So, so far they've done a really good job of delegating. Uh, Alexi and Lee are down on there and Stan and Douglas. Uh, Stan's running over right now. What they're not doing is clearing the whole scene. Uh, so we got one buried down here and right now they're missing it completely. You got it? I'm not sure. You for another beacon? Yeah. What do you want me to do, Leah? You can get, you can help these guys. We just need to see if we have one more person. Okay, I'm getting a 20, 20 meters. We're all one meter over here. Did you get someone looking for that last person? Yeah, we're, I think there's another person here. We have. Let me mark this one. Okay, I'm gonna do... Okay, I've got... Oh, I've got a signal at 3 meters here. Or 51 meters? 1.8. What the f***? Might be, might 40 meters. Oh, what the So right now we got Stan and Douglas uh, shoveling, and then you can see Alexi's wandering around, his beacon's giving him trouble, but what you will notice is he doesn't have his backpack on. So if you can keep your backpack on at all times. 35. No, I marked this one already. What the? Got a pro strike? Hey, I got him! Got him? Holy oh, shit! Okay. We need to make the hole bigger! Yeah. Okay. Here, switch! Yeah, okay, so. uh -uh. You got 12 meters! Okay. Leah, grab from and shovel! Bring my shovel! I've got 1.1 meter! Point 0.8! Point 0.7! We have no probe. You have no probe. Yeah, I've got 1.7 here. I'm gonna start digging. shovels and no probe so they both don't have their backpacks on uh, but we're still doing great seven minutes and uh, they're hustling how you doing what's 
coming! Okay, you got a big plate here behind you. If you go behind me? Yeah. Okay, we've got someone. You can see them. Got it. How's he doing? You got a head yet? Is there a head on this guy? <laughs> so yeah, you can really see Douglas and Stan are getting tired here. You doing all right in there? Got the head? Is that an airway? Clearing his airway. Alexi's so got the other one. About nine and a half minutes in, and they've got an airway on the guy down there. Again, jackets on him, getting him warm. And, yeah, you can really see how big of a hole they're digging here. What do you want me to do? Uh, no, let's let's help. make let's make okay. a platform out here so let's move all that snow Here's back. Here's my jacket, Stan, coming in. Just watch his spine. Uh, Hold the head and neck. One, two, three. Lift him to our platform that's not quite great yet. One, Put two, a jacket three. down underneath him. Okay. Are you going to grab the Douglas' jacket behind you? Yeah. All right. Can we initiate, clear the, make sure that the, we've got a clear airway. So let's just put that jacket down. Nose. Put the jacket down, yeah. Get him off the snow. Okay, awesome. Do we initiate CPR? So airway. Is he breathing? Can you give us some beta here? I think that's the end of the scenario. Okay. Okay. It's really important at the end of these scenarios to do a good debrief. Uh, I was kind of the observer there, so I got a really good overview of where all the beacons were and what they were doing. And so overall, they did a really awesome job. They got three people out, one deep burial, 11 minutes. Uh, a few things to work on is really making sure that you clear that slope when you're moving down it. Uh, it's really hard to move back up Avi debris, so you really want to make sure you're always moving downhill. Uh, another thing they did really good is they delegated a leader, they called their rescue, and Leah did a really good job of standing back and seeing that kind of bigger picture. Uh, the last point that I'd kind of make is that it's really important, and I see this in almost every avalanche scenario, is keeping your gear together. You know, you got your first aid kit in your, in your backpack, you got your probe, your shovel, and so just always having that near nearby is really, really important. But overall, awesome job. And uh, yeah, stoked uh, these guys did so well and that makes me a lot, feel a lot safer when I go skiing with them. It's so important to do these things so that if something happens, practice makes perfect. Now we do this a couple times a year. We do it at the Mountain Collective and that's how we learn. And it's really fun to do these things. So get out there. If you don't really know what you're doing, Go get a certified guide to teach you, and then you'll know that you're practicing in the proper way. Also remember, we just went through the avalanche scenario of this. This is when it really starts. You gotta have a first aid, so go out and get a, a first aid course, and really understand how you're gonna extract those people, and we'll probably do that in further episodes. But for now, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.